we be getting to the mukbang, making everybody hungry. Hey, hey. Oh, we be getting to the mukbang, making everybody hungry. Hey. Uh. Same old family from the A. Same old family getting paid. Same old family ain't worried about a thing. Doing challenges, pranks, and mukbangs. We be getting to it. Uh huh. Getting, getting to it. Check us out. Getting, getting to it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, YBM, Young Bella Marcel, and I'm back with another So Delicious video. And I'm here again with Man of the House. What's up, YouTube? And today, we are doing, not a seafood boil, we have a Mega Prime and Muzzle Seafood Feast. That's what we'll call it, because it ain't a boil. <laughs> but it's some yummy, delicious food that we're going to get straight to the point and get into. But first... Let's bless this food. Dear Lord, bless this food we're about to see. The strength of our body, Lord. Lord, we thank you for all our blessings. We thank you for all our opportunities. And we definitely thank you for all our supporters. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Alright, alright. Grab you one of them big old And yes, we got some sauce. We have oh, yeah, back we here just sauce. in this free. We have we some, got some um, sauce. Basically some Cajun style sauteed prawns. Can y'all see me? <laughs> y'all see in a minute. We'll eat it now. And uh, we also have some mega ponds that are fried, as you can see here, and some muzzles. We skipped out on the corn, potatoes, and sausage, and egg, and cucumbers, and all that. We just, like I said, we just getting straight to the seafood. Straight to the protein today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hope everybody having a good day out there. Look at these jokers. Some ice cold I'm finna water. Get at it. I'm finna get at it. Yes, I'm scream, scream, scream. Y'all say that? I don't even know if I'm close enough. If I don't even put it close enough, the far from the way back here will probably look really small, but it's not. It's not. Time to make these shrimp happy. They're going swimming. Yes. That's some good sauce right there. So, anyways, the sauce is good. <laughs> but, um,. I've been seeing some challenges. What about this? Um, is it 11 bites? Wait, it's, it's a lobster challenge. It's 11 lobsters and 11 bite challenge. So, I know I mentioned this before. And I haven't got any clarity. Is it like one, like stuff the whole thing in your mouth, bite down as one bite, and then chew it up? Or is it you can slowly put it in your mouth and bite until it's not like I'm just confused. But it does look like a great challenge. It's just, I don't even know if I can fit all that in my mouth. Y'all drop down there and leave us a comment so we can have the rules down pat. <clears throat> I think it's 11 lobster tails, one bite challenge. Pretty much like these big old shrimps, but you know, lobster tails are going to be bigger than the prawns. Yeah, then putting your stuff in your mouth in one bite and then trying to chew. It can be done. Mm, mm, mm. Look at that joker. Sorry, it's going to get messy. Very messy. Might be a good thing that I'm kind of hidden back here. Mm, we can work that out. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Y'all need to see me. Y'all can just hear me, right? <laughs> mm. That's good stuff. I hope everybody having a good week. Listen. Yes. I hope you're having a good week. And, um, let me see. Y'all let me eat a little bit of this, and then I'm going to tell y'all about I'm trying to put this in my mouth. Uh, how you how you boys get out of a traffic ticket. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm going to call it done. Proper way to get pulled over. You know, everybody always say, cops always out to get you and they be tripping. But you gotta understand, they're afraid of you. And when somebody's afraid of you, they're gonna be on their on P's and Q's. Plus, you don't, you don't know what it's like to walk up to a car. You don't know who in there, what's on their mind, what's their intention. I can't tell you how many times I've been pulled over. It's a pain in the butt, I get it. 
but it's a way to to get it done and get it over with. <clears throat> this is what y'all gotta do. This is just a little advice. Roll down your windows. Cut your radio off. Put your hands on the steering wheel. And when they come up on you, just let them do the talking. Just be patient. Be polite. You ain't got no win out there, I'm trying to tell you. Let them have their moment. You know, they're always beating on their chest. They, you know, they already feel like they're in charge. Would you rather let them feel like they're in charge for a minute? Or would you rather get a ticket for whatever they pulled you over for? Because you got to understand, even if they pulled you over some made-up stuff, they still going to try to be right. Unfortunately, life ain't fair. But usually what I do, because I got 10 windows on the Suburban, and they like to pull me over for it, which is technically legal, but, you know, they, they, they make the rules, you know. Um, I always say, my bad. Yes, sir, how you doing, officer? I roll the window. I see you got the family in the car. They know you ain't nothing, nothing. You can't test these folks. Y'all got to go home at night, fellas, especially you young brothers out there. It's tough because y'all don't realize when you got a family, mama, daddy, aunts, cousins, friends, it's not just your life. You putting on the line out there. These people care about y'all. So that's just that's just a little little something I wanted to share with you fellas today. Cause I got I got sons, I got teenage sons, and I just want y'all to do better on on handling these police officers and law enforcement. Cause they're already looking for trouble, in my opinion. So I ain't trying to throw y'all off with that, but that's just something I wanted to share right quick. I think the first thing you need to do when you see the lights come on is before you pull over, find an open area. I wouldn't pull over nowhere secluded because to keep it real, at the end of the day, all cops aren't good cops. And I just feel like... She's not suggesting to run. I'm not saying run. I'm saying... <laughs> you better, you better pull sure that car over sooner than later. When you pull over, just make sure that it's an open area. You know? And I, I think, like, if you have any issues, ask to speak to their sergeant. Mm -hmm. Is that a sergeant call? If they don't call one for you, then you call 911 and call one yourself. That's if you have a hostile police officer. But like I said, all police officers aren't bad. I have some of my family. All of them aren't good either. So you got to protect yourself. And, you uh, like, what he's trying to say is, if a police officer comes up to you, they're scared. What do you mean by they're scared is they don't know. What's going on in that car, especially if your windows are tinted, they got to protect it. So that's just how they're trained. So they're trained to do what they're supposed to do. So they're going to be like looking to make it easier. Well, go ahead and roll your windows on. If you already know what they're going to ask, they're going to ask for your registration, your license. You can go ahead and get that. But me personally, I probably will wait for them to ask me for that. But the first thing I'm going to do is put my hands on the wheel. If you tell me to roll down a window, I'll roll it down so you can see my every move. And then I'm going to wait for him to ask me for my license registration. At that time, I can say, what did you pull me over for? So, I mean, little stuff like that. That will just help you out along the way. Are you eating a fried one now? It's a proud one. You already just take the saute one? Which one's better? Don't make me choose. <laughs> Do not make me choose. I'm trying to fight them. I'm trying to mm. knock this down so y'all can see me back. Oh, all it's missing is a little crispy thing. Crispy thing? Mm, those crispy things I like to make, like that, be at the bottom of your box that. Um, oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. I like those crispy things. I like to make those too, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Y'all forgive me, I'm not being antisocial, but this shrimps are banging. Every time we start doing our mukbang that thing, <laughs> we'd be like, okay, we're just going to focus more on the mukbang and, um, eat and less talking however I'm not talking mmm I like that fry y'all these braces y'all starting to hear me smack more nowadays it's making me chew different so I tried to tell her I'm learning <laughs> but y'all know how it works 
you got to sacrifice. Beauty is pain. So, we finally did the two, the ten prawns, two times spicy challenge. Now, the day after, do you feel better? Because y'all seen how she went through that challenge. She got it done, but she was suffering pretty good. Do how I you feel how, better? How you feel? It's, it's, it's over with. I feel, I feel good that I did it and, you know, I got it done. In the beginning, I didn't think I was going to get it done. For one, these braces are new, so I'm, like, trying to do a challenge. I'm learning how to chew and eat without cutting my gums. And then I got to try to get it done. And I'm eating some spicy, so if I do cut my gums, it ain't going to be good. And that spicy sauce is, the two times of sauce is crazy, ridiculous hot. But the more that I'm eating it, I got some of this sauce now, but in, uh, the more that I eat it, my tolerance is building up. But y'all, I'm glad it's over. And it was like while I was eating it, it was hot. But when I stopped eating it, and I was like, the air got into my mouth. It got hotter. It got hotter. <laughs> I tell you what, I love it. I love these challenges. Give us, give us something to share with y'all. We 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 just looking for new challenges. We already. <laughs> do all kind of crazy stuff around here to have fun but you know y'all drop us some suggestions on what y'all like to see which y'all keep it up y'all been doing it we appreciate you by the way definitely appreciate that we still working out the details on this this giveaway we'll probably drop more information in the next couple of days right but it's gonna be a good one I don't know go. if we're going to post it in a mukbang video or a live, but you got to watch the videos and stay tuned. One of the suggestions in one of the comments um, Lady K had mentioned, she was giving a suggestion on the contest that maybe in each video uh, drop a hint. And so that way, um, whoever mm -hmm. is in the contest, they'll have to go through each video to piece it all together to come up with the answer of something. I thought that was kind of unique. That'll, I guess that'll stop people from fast forwarding to the end, like going to the good part. You know, like if it was a, a good movie or a movie, you know, you go to the good part, you know what I'm saying? Make kind of watch it and see. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That water good today. Mm -hmm. I know that sounds kind of plain. Look at the size of them pumps. Wee. That's like a lobster with a trapped in the shrimp's body. I'm trying to think if I can eat these without sauce though. It's like, I know I season them up when I cook them, but the sauce just does something. Because you can saute these in the onions and garlic without the sauce, but the sauce is it's like you though. gotta have it. It's hard, it's hard to, you don't want to risk it. You know what I mean? You don't want to just sit it out. That's how I feel about it. I got family members texting me making reservations like, I'm on my way. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Mm. That's so good, y'all. That's good. Um, you, can't, you can't have like this one. Mm. 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 Oh my god. The muzzle's still good night. Okay, I'll eat you. Don't worry. <laughs> you don't have to feel lonely. <laughs> there ain't no more goodness right there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll tell you what. This is right on the spot. And that ice cold water is so good. But... Yes, this is so good. I don't know. I'm sitting here thinking like what I must bang on a hot dog. <laughs> I can bang anything, but I just haven't hey. gotten to it. But we're about to start posting videos every day though, so. Every day we hustling. Mm -hmm. That's just our motto. 
we got so much going on. That's kind of how it works for us. Yep, always hustling. Life ain't no but hustle, folks. Y'all better get with it. They say you gotta have seven streams of income to be successful. So if you focus in on one, you can do it. You really just gonna take it on. Which means, what I'm saying is, I believe in that. You always got something to back each other up. If one stream income ain't doing what you want it to do, there you go, boom. If that ain't working, just keep on moving over. Mm -hmm. It makes sense when you think about it. You gotta be able to handle it though. If you ain't no hustler, you better stick to that one little stream income and call it a day, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going in. Look at that. Right. No Spring break come up. We in March now. 2020 has taken off. It's on, folks. It's moving fast. Yep. Our spring break coming up, which means traveling. <clears throat> so. People go all over the place. People go all over the globe. For the ones that aren't going outside of the country because of this coronavirus. Put it this way, we have changed our whole plans. We ain't going nowhere. We can't drive. I'm hesitating on like staying in the <laughs> house, like yeah. for real, because this stuff is airborne, so even these little masks, like the virus could be on your clothes, so you have to quarantine yourself before you even come in your house. Like, it's just too much. Too much. Y'all be safe out there, folks, for real. And the old folks and the, and the babies and the kids have it worse, so. And then they saying that you can't tell in the beginning the symptoms. No. And all of a sudden just sneak up on you and boom. And it hits you. And it's supposed to be like similar to the flu, but a cold, and then it just takes over. But they're saying stay hydrated and up your vitamin C. Just be careful. Handle your business. Mm -hmm. Stay prayed up. Definitely stay prayed up. Definitely, definitely stay prayed up. Somebody give us a give us some advice on a good movie. What's up with the movies lately? They've been slacking. Mm. The Fast and the Furious, the new one should be coming out this um, sometime soon. I'm tired of them. I'm tired of them. It ain't been the same. Um, since Paul. Yes, it ain't been the same. Well, his brother's been doing good, filling in some spots. I like it. I like all that car action, you know. Oh yeah. I like old school cars. I definitely like it. Mm. Now y'all gonna see us good. We've been pounding that out. Mm-hmm. Well, it's been real, y'all. You know how we do. Make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know we upload a video. Right over there, right over there. And make sure you share, share, share us out, y'all. And until next time, see y'all later. All right. And don't forget, mukbang that, that thing. thing. <laughs> we be getting to the mukbang, making everybody hungry. Hey, hey. Oh, we be getting to the mukbang, making everybody hungry. Hey, uh. same old family from the A. Same old family getting paid. Same old family ain't worried about a thing. Doing challenges, pranks, and mukbangs. We be getting to it. Uh huh. Getting, getting to it. <laughs> Check us out. Getting, getting to it.